Okay, today we're going to be talking about circuits. When you're ready to take your wings test or the first time you even go out to fly, um, one of the first things you're going to always want to do is, uh, is learn circuits. Now circuits are the same as in a full-size airplane. It's basically a holding pattern up in the sky that can be square or oval in shape. Um, and that's just to help keep the airplane flying around, but you're not going to be doing any aerobatics. You're just going to be flying. Now there's two main ways to do circuits. Uh, I'm going to show you both ways. Right now I'm flying a rectangular circuit. Basically you're going to take off, always turn away from yourself, and you're going to fly essentially a big rectangle. You're going to kind of keep the corners around 90 degrees, and then you're going to fly towards yourself. And the key with circuits is that this last downwind leg is right over the runway. You're flying nice and over the runway. Um, and then you're going to turn again away from yourself, um, and, and, and fly your circuit. Now this is a rectangular circuit. So you see I, I turn fairly steeply, level the wings, and then I'm going to fly this, this downwind leg um, until I get myself set up at the other end of the field. And then another sharp turn towards myself, level the wings, and then finally when you get it back over the runway, one more sharp turn and down the runway again. Now the second type of circuit is an oval circuit, and this is where you're going to do a continuous turn all the way through. So you're just going to bank the wings and slowly turn a nice even radius on the turn and then level the wings on your circuit. And again, you're gonna fly this downwind leg nice and easy. You can see I'm not really doing much to let the to, to the airplane, I'm just letting it fly itself. And then you're gonna gently bank the wings and fly it back around and back down the runway. Now you can do variations of circuits all you like. I mean, you, you can combine the circuit together and, and you know take bigger 90 degree corners, but still stop and level the wings for a quick second and then do it again. The main thing you should be looking for with circuits and the main thing instructors are looking for when they're doing the wings test is that you keep the same altitude the whole time. You see my airplane is, is no matter where I'm turning, um, it's always flying at the same altitude. It's not, you know, dipping down and coming back up and, and, and I'm struggling to keep it flying in the straight altitude. Uh, you want it to stay nice and steady and even and you always want that uh, downwind leg to be out away from you um, and then you want the, the upwind leg or the takeoff leg to be right down the center of the runway. Um, or a little bit out from the runway. You don't want it to be too close, but you just want to you want to bring it, it, it in fairly tight so that you can see the airplane. Um, and this this would enable you, and this is what's going to help you get ready for landings, as you can start cutting power on your circuits and just bring the airplane down down the runway and practice landing. So one of the things I, I know it, it can seem boring, but one of the big important things to learn um, when you're practicing on the simulator or out in real is to get those circuits down cold so that you can you can fly them in your sleep. Uh, you can see here I'm flying a circuit. I'm just reducing the power, and uh, and I'm cutting this one a little tight, but then I just reduce the power all the way, and I can bring the airplane and set it right down on the runway. And that's just simply doing a circuit the exact same way, but cutting the power and letting the airplane glide uh, instead of keeping the power on and letting it stay up in the air.